Presenting the Warner Wood Attic Ladder. It lets you transform your attic from wasted space into a handy, usable storage area. This video outlines the four easy to follow steps required to install your wood attic ladder. Your first step is to open the package and remove the instruction manual. The printed installation instructions cover the process in complete detail. Before you begin any work, be sure you have read them closely and understand them completely. The instructions also list the tools you will need. A hammer, ladder, Phillips head screwdriver, slot head screwdriver, square, tape measure, and saw. Also listed are the few additional materials you must supply. 3 inch lag screws, 16 penny nails, 8 penny nails, 1 by 4 inch temporary support slats, 2 pieces approximately 32 inches long, braces with the same dimensions as joists, and 1 quarter or 3 eighth inch plywood for shims. Make sure that the wooden door panel is free of splits or warping, that the metal parts are not damaged, that all rivets are tight. If something isn't right, do not proceed with the installation. Contact your place of purchase or the Warner Company. To install the ladder yourself, you must have sawing, squaring, and aligning skills similar to those required to install a window or door frame. Don't try the installation if you aren't confident in these skills. Hire a professional instead. In addition, you must have two people capable of lifting the ladder assembly into place. It weighs 60 pounds. Refer to the manual for the correct sealing and opening dimensions. If your rough opening dimensions do not match the dimensions, refer to step 4 in the instructions. Here are the steps you must follow to install the attic ladder. The first step is to prepare the existing opening. Remove old trim and hardware around the opening and double check to make sure the opening has the correct dimensions. For best results, make sure the ceiling around the opening is flat and in good repair. Be sure all sides are flat, plumb, and also in good repair. Next, attach temporary support boards. The ladder must be temporarily supported with 1 by 4 by 32 inch boards that extend across each end of the opening. For safety, the boards must be positioned properly and fastened securely. Use three nails or deck screws on each. The first support board goes 3 eighths of an inch from the inside edge of header A where the ladder hinge will go. Then measure from the inside edge of the first support board 52 and a half inches to mark where the inside edge of the second board will go. Fasten it securely with three nails or deck screws. Make sure all six nails or screws penetrate the header so the support boards are firmly secure. One person must enter the attic. Raise the ladder into the rough opening turning it on an angle to clear the temporary support boards. Position the ladder so it rests securely on the temporary support boards. Slide the ladder so that the hinged end of the wood frame is resting tightly against the header with the ladder hinge, header A. It is important that there is no gap between the header of your opening and the frame of the ladder. Do not place any weight on the ladder until it's fully installed. Using at least three evenly spaced eight penny nails per side, temporarily affix the stairway in the opening by nailing at an angle the well sides to the adjacent joists. Do not drive these nails in fully. They will be removed later, after the permanent nailing is completed. Once the temporary nailing has been completed, have your helper below open the stairway and lower the stair section so that the area for permanent nailing is exposed. Do not stand on the stairway at this time. Next, carefully measure the two diagonal dimensions of the opening. If they are within one-eighth of an inch of each other, the opening is square. If they aren't, shim the frame at the corners. If the frame isn't correctly squared, the ladder might not close properly. Drive nails or screws to hold the shims in place. Now that the ladder has been properly placed, the next step is to mount it permanently. 
Make sure the stairway is square and level in the rough opening. Nail the sides, the jams of the stairway frame to the rough opening frame using 16 penny nails or three inch lag screws. Holes are provided in the pivot plates and piano hinge brackets. Also nail through the end boards into rough opening headers. Finish the permanent installation by using nails or screws to secure the frame on all four sides of the rough opening. Use at least three evenly spaced fasteners on each box end and five evenly spaced fasteners on each box side. Make sure the door closes without interference. Readjust the shims if necessary. For safety, trim any shims that stick out above the frame. Untie the cord and pull the handle that holds the ladder sections together. Put the end of the cord through the door and double knot it. Next, you remove the temporary support boards. The ladder is now permanently secured into the opening. The next step is setting the proper height for the ladder. Pull the stairway down, applying pressure so that the hardware arms are fully extended. Open the stairway sections, folding the bottom section under the middle section. The top and middle sections should form a straight line. Aligning your ruler on the same plane as the two upper sections, measure the distance from the bottom of the middle section to the floor on the front and back. Do this on each side of the ladder. Mark the distances obtained on the front and the back sides of the ends of the bottom section. Connect the two marks and make your trim line. If either of the trim line pass through any parts of a step, refer to the installation manual for detailed directions. Trim bottom sections at the proper length and angles by cutting across them. With the bottom section cut to the proper length and angle, joints will be tight at each section when weight is applied to the stairs. Warning: The bottom section must fit flush with the floor. Failure to cut properly could result in undue stress on the stairway's component parts, resulting in serious injury. That's all it takes to install your wood attic ladder. Once you do, you will have handy, easy access to your attic for any storage need.